I looked out the window and it was just all black. A whole terror went through my body. All I could see was a big black thing. That's all I could see. As soon as we went into the house. The yeah. power shut off, everybody was laying on the floor. Yeah. And we hang there and that thing sounds like John Force just left the start line with my ear on top of his header. And I called my sister on the phone to tell her goodbye and she just thought I was crazy. And I said, no, the tornado is here. It's on top of me. And all we could hear was popping of pine trees. I remember hearing glass fall. Next thing I knew, I was up in the air. I couldn't close my eyes because I thought I would never open them again. I looked back and you were holding on side that door frame and you were sideways. Well, this thing come through any mile hour. Well, we didn't have time to react. I mean, it was on us before we even knew what happened. My grandma was down in the basement. She wouldn't have got that door closed just in that time. My whole family would have been killed down there. And it took me all, what, 36 years to build everything. And then it took 90 seconds to take it away. But as you can tell today, I've somewhat got a smile on my face because we have wonderful people. Wonderful people that's just coming from everywhere just to come in and help us clean up. And, and people that I don't know who they are, but they're so generous and they're so nice and they're coming up saying, hey, you know, this is who we are and, and we're non-profit and, and we're not, we're here to help clean up. We're, we're not here, we're not wanting a dime. We're just here to help you. And all I can say is God's great and these people are great. There's a lot of trees down and they block roads a lot of the time. And on a small country road like this, you know, the trees are laying across the road. Nobody can get through. So we got to clear it in case ambulances need to get through and get to houses back here. I hear progress every time I hear the beeping noise or I hear a chainsaw. That's the sound of progress. That piece of equipment can do the work that 50 people would do in a day in a matter of an hour. This looks like a pretty old picture to me, so it might be somebody's grandfather. Glad we were able to find him for these people. First response team of America, God bless you. The first response team, I just think it's amazing what you guys come out here and do, and, and you just you stop your lives to help people like me. And I, I, I just, I can't thank you enough. I mean, you're just amazing. We gotta hit the highway. It's about midnight. We just loaded up our gear. We're heading to Ringgold, Georgia. Things are really bad there. One of the worst tornadoes in history. Roads are blocked. They're expecting us to be there by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning when the sun comes up. We're going to bring in our apprentice loader, cut those roads open, and see how we can help. Right now there's about 80 people missing. They could be under the rubble or they could be evacuated. We don't really know right now, but we got to get there and we got to find out. This is everything we prepared for. This is why every single day of my life I work so hard to be prepared for moments like this.